Oh hey, all right, we are back again. Um, got a few things to show, but not as always, not as much as I'd like. But you can see we are in empty space right now, um, and that's because we are in a completely empty universe. But we can, we do have one main scenario, which in theory one day there will be some UI for. If we do this, and then look around, oh hey! <laughs> I was facing the wrong way. Here's everything. So now we have a way of actually loading up a game with things in it, like stars and planets and space stations and a new shiny new shuttle that, as much as I would like it to be a good example of um, <laughs> of a complete ship, it is still very much a work in progress. Um, you know, it's got different bits. There's RCS thrust supports now. There's an external little turreted uh, weapons. Um, some engines back here. And it's got a door that even has some graphics. Alright, okay, we're in. Alright, cool. So here's a, sh here's a shuttle with a very basic control panel still, and uh, the old chair, uh, I'll show you, it's got some things hiding back here, it's got a little hydrogen cell and power distribution, um, these are extra buttons and some extra things hiding back here, um, buttons to open up the hard points to get to the engines, close that, um, and back here is just the sensors, because now we have some, let's get in the chair. Now we actually have um, sensor UI with a little holographic display. Um, you know what? We should turn on the engines too. So now you can see this holographic display shows a nice relative to where you are, um, like yeah, display of things, <laughs> um, which for nearby things isn't so useful, but for far away things. See it highlight, it's highlighting. Uh, okay, that. There's the black hole system is over there. There's the, the star and there's the gas giant. There's giant rings. Um, but yes, yeah, so as you can see, these things fade in and out as they get nearer and further away um, and do stay in their relative position. Um, I, I, in theory, want to use this for um, uh, for like blowing it up I guess as a having it as like a full room you can sort of see everything um, and then potentially see things on the inside but uh, yeah you can see there's the edge of the holographic display so if your thing senses that's so in theory supposed to be the distance away from you if your senses are set too close you won't be able to see it um, still thinking of best way of handling it like if you target something that's outside maybe it needs a little arrow pointing in the direction it is but you know where we're at. Um, we can in theory shoot at the black hole, I think. Yeah, things are too far away, but uh, you can see the little RC, let me get a little closer. See the little RCS thrusters doing their job. Um, we've got the engines, it's got their graphic on. Um, but yeah, as we, uh, oh yeah, they get the little engine glows, fires up. It's not quite at the, um, doesn't respond quite as well as I'd like, but does in theory respond, um, but yeah, turrets should in theory be pointing where they should be, where they need to be pointing. Uh, the shuttle needs to be a little more maneuverable probably. Uh, but yes, these have a limit, you'll still try to fire even if it can't actually reach it. Uh, those red panels are access to the engines from the outside, uh, but yeah, um, whoop, 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 alright, um, yeah. Really, I guess that kind of covers a lot of it. It's, um, it's taken a long time just to get to just this point, but adding in extra things like some sound effects. Um, having it that the engine sounds go up and down depending on the, how much they're being used. You know, Let's make sure we're landed. There we go. Nice landing. Um, yeah, then we can. Yeah, that's supposed to be there's a pressure difference. Really, it should only be if there's a difference between the inside and outside, but I don't have that. It's kind of as a model yet. 
Oh, yeah, it's pointing in the direction it was last pointing. Um, but yeah, the engines now are off. Um, and yeah, we should be able to still walk off into the space station, just like before. So this part isn't any different. Um, walking along the carpet instead of the metal. Uh, but yeah, there it is over there. As we walk around here, we can see that the space station is still empty. I haven't touched this basically at all, unfortunately. Um, but I have done some initial work on some NPCs and uh, nav mesh stuff, but uh, I think I'll have to wait for another devlog once I get things also working a bit better. But the goal would be to have it that uh, NPCs could follow you around and then into your shuttle and then you could fly off into your parent ship, I guess, um, larger ship. Um, and yeah. Yeah. It feels like it's taken way too long to just to get to this point, but um, yeah. There we go. Sounds. Um, yeah. Let's, um, let's turn this back on. But at least now, in theory, we should be able to get Ooh. Get a bit of an exterior view. Yeah. You know, also might see that the uh, player character just disappears whenever it's in a chair. Um, need to figure out probably the be a better way of handling that, but uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, Still need maybe to figure out a better character control. Character control? Character control, but also camera control. Something where if you target something, like has it where it's always facing it, um, things like that. One day I'll get to that point. <laughs> shooting, shooting the space station won't do anything. Um, but yeah, there's uh, still plenty more to do, but slowly, slowly, uh, slowly, slowly getting to. Um, whoops, whoops. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Can still zoom in and out, um, but yeah, this this took a little bit of time to get going, um, but it does work. It doesn't it? Isn't actually a separate model. So if I go and open the, the door here. It doesn't reflect here because this is a separate simplified model. Um, anyway, that's probably enough for me rambling. Uh, hopefully, at some point, I'll have more things to show than just some lights that can be slid on and off um, and a sensor thing that can be turned on s moved around um, but yeah anyway uh, thanks for watching hopefully it won't be so long before you see in the next one but uh, it is the end of the year so there's always heaps of heaps of life things to do so yeah anyway see you in the next one bye